Now this suit is called the Buffalo Tatanka. That's what I call them, is Tatanka, and I call them to me that way. Tatanka! A long, Tatanka. long time ago, the Plains Bison, an imposing creature that can top the scales at about a ton, once roamed the northern Great Plains in herds by the millions. I can tell you that the, the, um, the, the numbers were almost decimated in the 1880s, and they uh, attribute the comeback of the Plains Bison to uh, the buffalo ranchers. The bison isn't something you'd expect to see on Vancouver Island. It's a difficult environment for them here. It's not a natural environment. It's, it's too wet. They have a very thick uh, coat in the wintertime, and they do well in the minus 20, minus 30 dry temperatures. Uh, they forage well under snow. But just south of Nanaimo, there is a small herd of about 60 plains bison gently grazing the hills in the Cassidy Highlands. Originally, I had red Angus cattle, and I was building a beautiful registered herd. And then that mad cow disease swept across Canada. And we had about two or three cases of mad cow, I think, wherever that was in Alberta, I believe. And, uh, and that just killed the uh, beef industry in Canada for about 10 years. So a lot, of, uh, a lot of the ranches had to shut their doors and get into something else. And uh, I was always kind of interested in the buffalo. Ten years ago, Buffalo Bob bought himself 24 six-month-old bison calves and started the Morning Star Bison Ranch. See, they're quite a cute little animal when they're that young, aren't they? So I thought, well, I'll get to know them as they get to know me. And I didn't want to just go out and buy a, a herd of like 2,000-pound uh, bulls. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the, the fencing around here, we're kind of on the honor system a little bit with that. Mm -hmm. Horses and cattle, they're what we call a uh, flight animal. You see, if you spook them, they're going to run. But a bison is a fight or flight animal. So what that means is, yeah, they'll run, but if they think that their best option is to go through you, they will. The market is growing for this lean, flavorful meat, and so too is the interest in these symbols of strength and determination. People love to come out and look at the animals. Like, where else do you see buffalo on southern Vancouver Island? Buffalo Bob loves to lead visitors over the rough trails in a makeshift train pulled by a very, very old Russian tractor. And to go for a ride on our little choo-choo train in amongst the herd, I mean, it's just, uh, it's priceless to watch them. They're watching the buffalo and I'm watching the tourists because it's a lot of fun just seeing the expressions on their face. I have these little buckets so that people can just, everybody gets a bucket and they can throw their own cubes out. Normally right. there is a fence right. between you and these formidable beasts, but Bob let me get up close and personal. A visit to the Morningstar Bison Ranch wouldn't be complete without a stop at the Yippie Kaye Cafe to sample a bison dog or burger or take home a few steaks. In the Cassidy Highlands, I'm Annette Lucas.